You're the first one on, Jennifer. Ah, oh, check me. Look at Super that. fun. Hi guys. So, impromptu live. You know how we like to do that these days. So, what we are going to do today is we are going to do an application of Angel. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to see that, so we are going to do that. We're also going to do a quick infill on one finger because I removed all of the nails but wanted to leave one on to show you guys how it should last and how to infill it. And we are also going to apply a tip just to fix a little breakage as well. So as always, if you have any questions, ask away and we're just going to get started. Okay, so we've removed all of these ones. As you can see, we have a little corner breakage here and this one is going to be infilled. So. Jennifer's doing a lot of the picking and packing for um, Black Friday, so she has a few scuffs. But you can see, even through all that order, that picking and packing and everything, the gel is absolutely perfect in, perfectly intact, other than a couple of scuffs. So, really, really good. And what we love about Angel is that we don't feel that you have to do anything special in terms of application, other than what you usually should be doing for any other sort of builder that you apply, even though it's hammer free. So. I have prepped these. How do I how do I prep them? So I prep them using a sanding band on my e-file. Um, but if you don't use an e-file, you can also use a 150, uh, 180 grit nail file to prep them. We don't recommend the use of buffers when we are um, applying builder because I don't think it really creates enough of a grippy texture on the surface of the nail. Um, so yes, I think before we get started, I'm actually going to prep this nail for infill. So let's Let's get started with that. So again, I'm going to use my e-file. If you don't have an e-file, not to worry. You can just go in and remove using your manual file. So I'm going to use a safety barrel here and I'm just going to quickly whiz off all of this gel. So this was the color Luby Glitz, which is the most perfect Christmas red color. And you can see how quick and easy it comes off with the e-file. Again, we always recommend the use of a dust extractor, but it does upset the sound for this type of thing. So we are not going to be using one today. But you really can see bad, there is absolutely no lifting, nothing at all for this gel. It is absolutely still perfect on a Jennifer's nail. So I'm just gonna get all that gel polish off. So I'm currently um, rocking out one hand of Jira Gel and one hand of Angel. Um, <coughs> but um, I can't really tell the difference between the two because they both are wearing um, really, really well. And obviously normally with a breakage we would do like a form and... I and use hard gel, hard gel yeah. yeah. But just because we want to show you guys um, how natural the tips can be for a breakage and it's 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 a nice fast fix as well yeah especially if the client is a builder client who wants to have their nails um changed frequently um maybe you've still to convert over to Jura gel and do our course maybe you're, you've not quite done that yet so i'm just giving this nail a wee reshape before but can we just say like look how outgrown my nails are like but Luby Glitz, how nice. And she's scuffed so from good. all the hours and picking and packing. I really like, well, not picking, but packing. Jennifer did like 25 minutes of mine. I did not. I was, I was, don't say that. I wrote nice notes. Hi guys. Hello. So, Love you. <laughs> we are just getting this one ready for infill. I'm just giving it a wee reshape. Um, what evil bit was that that you just used? So that was a safety barrel that I just used. And what speed did you use that? Uh, that was a hot question. 20. 20. So I've got all the gel polish off there and then what I like to do is both for my um, prep of the, the, uh, the grown area of natural nail and to just go over the, the product itself is I like to take a sanding band. So I'm going to quickly do my um, prep of the natural nail here. Just very gently. It's funny how everybody's got their own way that they like to exactly. start off with. The, yeah, I always like to start at the cuticle. And then I'm just going to quickly just take my sanding bands over the gel, over the product, just to smooth it out because it's just going to make our life a little bit easier when it comes to apply the gel for our infill if it's just nice and smooth as possible. Just get down these sidewalls here. And that was the colour Faith that I had on. Um, it's just as well you remembered because I didn't. I really love her, that's why. Although, I, what am I getting on? 
Saint, I do like her again. You Can you me. use angel under Jura gel to make it soak off? I don't understand why you would want to do that. No, so people, no, 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 people, no, people have become very obsessed with the idea of soak off products. And my question to you is why are you wanting to soak it off? But, but it's not, no, because but it's continually not. soaking off products means that you are continually prepping the nail underneath, continually, even if you're very, very gen being very gentle, removing a layer of the gel, uh, of the natural nail. We've watched a lot of you filter, you filter. You well, can, we did a we did a manual removal on the last video, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it does take a wee bit longer. But yeah, it's, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to look after our nail health. Um, and it's about what I said the last time, a, pres a prescriptive manicure, mm -hmm. okay? So we're doing what is right for the client. Just because you love doing a particular treatment, say you love doing full cover tips. Not every client is going to want full cover tips. Sometimes you're gonna to have to do builders, sometimes you're gonna to have to do hard gel. You need to make sure that you are doing the service that is suitable for that client um, and not one service is going to suit all. So hard gel, Dura gel is, it's currently my personal preference for my nails. Um, and that is perfect for the client who always has nails on. If they are coming to you for infills all the time on their builder, you want to be using something like that. So Neil Richards has just gave a follow up saying it's to give the option for clients who want an extension for once a year, which I'm presuming would maybe be um, for like Christmas time. So if that was the case that you're wanting to give a client a length or an extension for that, we would recommend using our lovely, beautiful extensions. Um, which are then soak off and then would save it isn't a hard gel for once i think what they're meaning though is if somebody um that maybe they're regularly getting the hard gel um where's my little guy there it is if they're regularly getting hard gel and then it comes to that once a year we'll use that once a year time as your sort of oh, i was going to see this yeah as, as your time to remove the product um fully check the nail health of the client then maybe go for an extension but also can you extend the Dura Gel? You yeah. absolutely So can. for instance, you could take the existing Dura Gel that's already on, do an infill and extend? Um, it's not that no. Yeah, no. You would want to have the structure coming from the free edge, so if you've already got a wee bit of a length there, you would want to then take that back. So again, as you're saying, you could then do that as the removing it all the way off, using a form, reapplying an extension, and then you could then take it down. So you could do it that way. Um, that's what that that's what you were meaning. If they constantly get Dura Gel and you extend with Dura Gel, then surely you could just cut it down and shape it to a shorter shape, one that the client doesn't need to extend it anymore. Yeah, but it's yeah, the opposite, opposite way, way round. round from what you were saying. So no, I mean, yeah, so yeah. Ah. But you were right, what you're saying in theory, but yeah, so they could extend the nail, remove everything, Don't extend the nail, and then, no, 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 I'm like, you've got this, the basis right, um, so you would extend, remove, do the full extension of what they were looking for, and it's, then It is a question it that has come up very frequently since we've launched your gel, people want this soak off base, but we need to kind of try and get get that out of our heads, and mm. um, we've been so used to this soak off products, yeah. and and the whole soak off thing could potentially be part of the reason that we've had such a flare up in allergies, guys. Equally, if you have hard gel on top of builder, it still isn't going to be soak off. No, you still have to get through. Still have to get through. So you're kind of. Um, that's kind of why I was saying I don't know why you would want to do that. Ah, uh, see, I didn't think of that. Yeah. I just thought maybe you could soak it for a little bit. That would penetrate and get underneath, you could remove the builder, and then you could just scrape it off, such like. It's, and, uh, no, so I yeah. did find a little lifted corner right here. <gasps> oh, I know. So I'm just and that must have been my tap dancing finger doo, doo, doo. <laughs> on the desk, you know. Oh, that's it. <laughs> now people do the yeah. We better do something. Okay, right, <laughs> Chris. Could you grab me another money mat, please? Yeah, so man. now we are all ready to do the fun and interesting part, which is the application. So. What you are going to notice now is that I am not additionally dehydrating the nails. Um, before we start the treatment, we are sanitizing the client's hands and we don't feel the need to additionally dehydrate if your prep has been done properly. Um, in fact, we actually believe that over dehydration can lead to poor retention. I'm just gonna try and explain something to you guys now as best I can. 
Yeah, that's very well explained in it before, so I'm sure I know. I'm going to try and do it right now. Okay, so if you could take it in hand, Sorry. so let's um, let us imagine that this bottom. Um, you know what would be better is a form, but it's fine. This bottom foil is the natural nail, okay? And the top, um, the top foil is the gel that you've applied to the natural nail. So, if we take the natural nail, when you, when the natural nail is dehydrated, it curls up, okay? Again, not the best implement for this, it curls up. And then your nail is like a sponge, so when it absorbs water, it flexes back again. So, imagine we have about, we're about to start our um, application, we have dehydrated the nail, it's curled up. We apply our uh, gel to that, and it's all curved, curled up and matching. Now, the nail underneath, when you are then exposed to water, expands. Okay. Blue I know, I'm scared of, I'm sitting here staring at it and I've already... It expands. It. And what happens then is that the gel on top expands with it. But then when the natural nail dehydrates again, the gel on top does not dehydrate. So it curls back underneath like that. And that, as you can so see there, the top layer is the gel, is now not sitting flush with the natural nail. And that is one of the reasons we think that the over dehydration of the nail before um, application of product can actually lead to poor retention. You need the your own show on the discovery channel. <laughs> <laughs> the counter of that would obviously be to stop your nails from dehydrating once it, it Obviously it's it very oil. important to ensure that your nails are free from oil, free from debris and the way that we have always done things um, in our own salon for years and we always have very good retention and we taught our staff this method is we sanitize the hands before we start sanitize the hands and the nails before we start our treatment we use our multi-purpose spray our hand sanitizer at 70 percent ipa so you can just use your ipa we sanitize everything then okay now we then go in and do our prep but we're going to do a dry prep so once we've done our prep we're going to dust off and now we are ready to go the only thing that we are going to apply after that is our X prime no additional um, dehydrators or primers so and with our prep we use a 150 180 fit a 180, 180 file, file yeah and um, for roughing up the natural nail which we find is better than using a dehydrator and don't use a buffer yeah, yeah. and I think dehydrators were a lot more back in the day for traditional acrylics I am um, like, I mean, I know I'm only 23, but back <clears throat> 17 years ago when I was taught to do this, that's what we used was dehydrators. So it's, I do think that's where yeah. that all is from. And the acetone from. and things like that. So yeah. this is why we recommend this. Okay, so now I've uh, put primer on, I am going to go into my first layer, which is another point of what I want to discuss. Do we have a lamp here? About application? Yeah, it's right beside me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a I know, I was just about oh, to probably. say that. Oh, probably. It's rolling the dice. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I, there's no base coat required with Angel. I am going to apply a thin coat of build gel. Now, when I'm applying this, it's not thick and I'm really painting it. I'm not scrubbing it in or anything, but I am properly painting it into the nail, ensuring that it gets into all the nooks and crannies. I'm not just floating lightly like that, a layer of gel on. I am ensuring that my brush has good contact with the natural nails so that the gel gets into all of those little etches that we have just created um, on the natural nail. I think that is another way that sometimes people go wrong with builders, especially um Yeah, I think I'm people go in a bit too light and then when they're going to it. almost So this fine. coat is our, you know, it's our foundation coat that we are going to use to anchor the rest of the gel too. Remember that. So we are it's, it's like a double-sided sticky tape at this point, but we want it to be nice and thin. So this is our um, our infill finger here. So I am still applying a full thin coat to the infill finger as well. The same as I am doing with the rest of the naked natural nails. You will notice that the middle finger there I have left. Um, because we are going to put an extension on that because we've got a little breakage in the corner. Now you could of course use hard gel. Um, we do not recommend using builder gel for creating a tip or an extension because we do not believe that the product is designed for that. Um, and it leads to product being applied too thickly um, and then under curing and that can lead to allergies. So what we have there is our thin coat and then I'm gonna pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Can I ask you a couple of questions? First of all, um, the nail pose, yes, this will be saved. 
and second of all, where did that question go? Uh, can the putty gel be used as an extension on a form? It's not something that we have tried, but given its flexible nature, I would suggest probably not. Yeah, I would think. It's very malleable, even when fully cured, so I probably would not recommend that. Putty in the name, so... Yeah, yeah it's yeah. still it's, it's pretty malleable. Um, yeah. But, I mean, no. Um, but sorry, that was the, I thought there was another question, but it was just lots of people. With a, somebody with a really long name is joined. I thought it was a question. Oh. <laughs> So this is a 60 second cure, you can use 90 second low heat mode, but this is not a heat generating builder, so you really do not need to use that. And I'm a bit of a wimp. You I'm are, like, oh, when it comes to I'm nails. A... Jennifer does have quite sensitive nails and she would have, her face would have given it away by now if she was experienced. Oh, my hand would have been out of the lamp. Like, I'm just not into that. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> my magnetic, oh. let's go. Do you know what, I'm just gonna leave this. Shall I leave this here? Yes. And I'm gonna get this. Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. Right, so. Welcome to the party, x later, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, isn't she beautiful? Oh, can you turn it off? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now we have got our first, oh Just my goodness, uh, base layer of our uh, angel applied. And now I am going to go in with our slip layer. So, again, this is another thin coat, carefully applying to the nail. Do you have your brushes? I do. Oh. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to cure that. I am going to go in. It's <laughs> quite Jeez, the pot. I'm not in. Jeez Louise. It was very cold in here until a few minutes ago, so. I wonder why that was. Oh, yeah. the snow. Did anybody have snow over there? We had lots of snow. <clears throat> so now I am going to apply a sort of blob, push that towards the cuticle, and then I am just going to float that up the natural nail. Just to let you guys know, there's probably going to be a customer coming in in a second, so just to probably. ignore us when we're popping in the back. Okay, so now I'm going to take my fine liner brush and I am going to use that to smooth it out. So I've got a little bit much than I would, a little bit more than I would like down here at the free edge, so I'm just going to take the finger backwards and I am just going to float the gel back to an area I would rather it was. Check that I'm happy with everything. And then in a wee second, I'm gonna get Jennifer to turn her finger upside down, upside down for me. And now we're going upside down, we're angling the nail slightly upwards here. It's not completely flat. We want it to angle slightly upwards so we use gravity to allow the gel to form a natural apex. Um, near the base of the cuticle where it, we want it to be full strength. And then I am going to just flash cure under here just for a few seconds. So we are using our x -Lite. and the reason I like to do this is because we're doing just one hand right now. If we were doing two hands, you could of course just fully cure each finger individually um, in the light, but we're only doing one hand right now. So I am just going to flash cure it for a few seconds so the gel does not move. Um, when I move on to the next finger. So again, I'm going to go on to the next finger here. I'm going to apply our thin base coat. Now, if you're watching this back on the YouTube, um, which will be generated as well from this video, you will be able to see that Becca, as she's applying this, is moving her head and also she is moving my finger about as well. It's not, this isn't a rigid um, application. You do have to move and you have to see where the nail is and, and like move your head about. A lot of times I see videos of people and they haven't moved the finger, they haven't moved their head. So therefore they won't be able to see where the apex is. They won't be able to see if there's any imperfections in the application. So make sure that you are moving. Remember that your head does move. Um, it's always helpful. Yeah, and you can see there that was just like even a, a wee tiny twist that Becca did there. Um, I know it sounds silly, but it is very, very important for your application to be to be moving the finger. That's it. So I'm just going to use my fine liner brush just to drag the product down the free edge. I'm going to ask some questions. Of course. Um, Lucy Pardy, hi Lucy, um, has said, will there be some jelly polishes and cat's eye coming soon? Uh, <laughs> all Ooh. things are in the pipeline. Good answer, Becca. Um, I'm just and, oh hi Jess. Um, yeah. oh. Sorry guys. 
top tip. Yeah, you use your fine liner brush to pick up little bits of gel. Oh, it's another bit I want to pick up right there. It's so interesting watching it from the opposite side, like to see, because you can see the bits as well from moving. And it self levels beautifully, so oh, you can kind of you can kind of just put it on and then let it do its thing. Um, Jess is asking, how do you keep it from being thick after a few infills? Do you just make Turn sure your you're filling, filing it down enough each time? Exactly. So you want to file it really nice and thin. I was actually, um, somebody, if you follow that nail place, I have been seeing a lot of her infills on stories particularly, and you'll see how thin before an infill she has that gel um, filed down to. So it's literally just a really, really thin layer that she has left on before she does her infill. So it's almost like a, it's almost like a new set. It's like a paper thin amount of product. You don't want thick product, because thick product, and then putting more product is just going to be thicker. That's it. Also, so talking about infills, we're doing an infill right now on this finger. So we don't need to be applying gel. So that first thin layer, I will apply um, to the full um, length of the nail. This um, second slip layer, I will do the same. But once I've done that, I don't need to drag any gel down to the free edge. Um, I can keep my gel concentrated around the cuticle area where the, the regrowth has been. So I'm just going to put a little blob right there. You can see how that's just self-leveling for me already. That's quite um, satisfying, is that the right word? Absolutely, and now I'm just going to use that fine liner brush, drag it down those free edges. Such a nice colour this one. Mm, I do love this one. So you can see that I didn't I didn't pull any down onto the, the free edge um, there, so it's not going to create any more bulk. Upside down for please, Jennifer. Great. I feel like a Great. ballet dancer or something. Gonna... <laughs> Pointing your I wonder if you guys can hear the country music in the background. I was just going to say that sounds pretty good, isn't it? So, so uh, People watching us and thinking that I really like this method, they don't have the new X light or an X light. How can they flash cure? Uh, you can, I mean, you can still flash cure in your your normal lamp as well. You just have to ensure the client is nice and careful when they go go in, um, or a torch or something like the an LED UV LED torch like the ones that we have. And we also sell the stands that can hold them, but it is a such a useful thing. It's so useful as well for even nail art, especially yeah. this time of year, you're doing all that intricate Christmas nail art. You know, flash curing layers as you go to make sure, you know, your nail art's not moving and the colours aren't bleeding into each other. Yeah, definitely, it's worthwhile. And what is our wee rechargeable torch? What's that again? 15? 15 pounds. Yeah, and then the stand is 18. 18. So realistically, I mean, I would say the X light is much. Yeah, I'm just thinking of some, well, I mean, for the price of the X-Lite, it's not that much of a difference, really, to be honest. Um, the X-Lite's just 59. Yeah, yeah, so for some, it's, it's definitely worthwhile. I think if you're starting out, the torch and torch stand is really good. When you become... More established? Yeah, if it's a, if it's a big, big part of your, your offering. I personally, for doing extensions, and especially for doing the courses, I would never use the torch and stand now. I would always like to use, especially the X-Lite 2.0. Um, I prefer using that. Oh, I'll just take back the original X sleeve then. I'd like to let the students use it. So what I was just doing there guys, is just I wasn't keen on where my gel was. So I was just pulling a little bit back in. Upside down for please, Jennifer. I think I'm actually going to grab a little bit more gel. For the sense <laughs> Give me that thumb back. Great, I'm I just going to... I can't figure out what we wanted to do. You can see how easily this stuff levels. Look at that. And it's just about gone. Upside down for me please, Jennifer. And again, I'm, Smooth, I'm moving my head around, I'm yeah. having a look, making sure, much to Chris's dismay. Um, moving your, your head, make everybody travel sick. It's great to watch these YouTube videos back. There is no camera that doesn't so look like blob right here. Okay, and I'm just going to give this VI a flash cure as well. Okay, actually Jennifer, you can pop your hand in for me. Okay, so she's curing for 60 seconds. That's going to give the, um, the builder a full cure. And while that is happening, I'm just going to get myself prepared here to do an extension because we have that little breakage. And I think this is the best way 
It's definitely the quickest way. Quickest way. And obviously the, the soft gel tips are soak off. Again, you can sculpt using your hard gel or whatever, which is, you know, maybe better for a corner, but as we've already discussed, hard gel isn't soak off and we don't recommend using build up for um, creating, length. creating length. No. So even if it's a snap, I just don't think it's strong enough. I don't think it's what the product was ever designed for. Um, and it's not what we designed our product for. No. Oh, do you know what I'm going to use to take off my um, inhibition layer? Inhibition layer. <gasps> it's got a tester sticker on it, but our beautiful Lucy Pastorelli collaboration. And if you haven't smelt this yet, ooh, you're in for a treat when you finally do. So I'm just going to give this a wee spray. There's a girl in Brian the other day, and she says, when she smelled ooh. she said, that is the best release that we've ever done. Really? It's kind of annoying because it's Lucy's fragrance, but. <laughs> yeah, Lucy. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm good. just taking off the inhibition layer here just so I don't get myself sticky when I go and work on this um, extension and wow. then smell it mm -hmm. smells great doesn't it um, and then we will go to back to refining once I've done this so remember this nail is all nice and prepped I am just going to size it now I'm just gonna grab a bigger one than that This is what doing full cover tips is just so good for. Even if you don't offer extensions as a regular service, having the ability to fix a nail just really, really quickly is really, really great. I'm all stuck together here. Again, get back to that original question of like maybe this time of year someone wants an extension. I think full cover tips is one of the easiest methods to, to yeah. as long as you know what you're doing and you can do it accurately, it's one of the easiest ones to put on and look I am going to go with that one. Yes, it's so good. Fold directly so good. And as they're clear and actually made of gel and not ABS plastic like <clears throat> other people can be, um, it means that then you can have this, you could have this grown out and do an infill on it until it matches back up that corner that I've got that's broken. Um, if this was on my other hand, we would be using hard gel, but <laughs> we're not doing that. These things that we do to our own nails to allow every option to be shown to you guys. Oh, hang on, I'm not. Right. Oh, what I'm going to use now, instead of using our X Prime, which you can use, but you have to make sure you etch the inside of the tip as well, I am going to use our X Prep. This is our chemical etcher, which is, it's a two-in-one primer. So it'll prime the natural nail for us, um, but it'll also chemically etch the inside of the tip. So we don't need to manually do it. So we just give it a wee wipe on, make sure it's on the full area that's going to be in contact with the natural nail. And then we give them a wee rubber dub dub. Mm, see? Catches. That just ensures that the whole area is fully covered and can create some little striations on the extension on as well. And now I am going to make sure I am ready. We're I'm just trying to get out a little microfiber brush. I always like to have them to hand, um, especially when I'm doing extensions because they're the perfect tidy up tool. Okay, I'm gonna get my, my x light nice and ready. And then I am going to apply, I'm using Ultima Gel. I'm just gonna apply a wee blob down at the base there. Now, because Jennifer does have length to her natural nail, I might need to apply some more gel, but we will see. 90 degree angle, push down until we reach the free edge. Perfect. And then up to the light. Beautiful down there, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we're gonna hold that there for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna take it away. And then there's just the tiny, tiniest, just where literally her um, corner is missing, a little bit of excess gel. I'm just gonna rub that away. And then I'm just gonna pop that. In fact, you can just pop that in the light, Jennifer. And that is a 30 second cure for that. So we'll pop that on, there you go. I was a wee bit too excited there, so. <clears throat> so our ultimate gel is a hypoallergenic gel and it's a kind of hypoallergenic universal gel is what we're calling it. So you can use it for a strengthening base coat, you can use it as a sort of rubber base type builderish product, you can use it to apply full cover tips and it has been our absolute bestseller of everything that we've released this year, hasn't it? Everybody just, the adhesion and it is unbelievable, it's usability, it's just a fantastic, fantastic product. Give people as well that have allergies the option to get the full cover chips back on. Imagine get anything on really. Which is why it was, it was obviously um so I'm now gonna cut this down guys. Now remember we never recommend going from a medium uh, from a long to a short or anything, but if you want to go medium to short, that's okay. If you cut quite a considerable chunk off, it can be an idea to apply a wee thin layer of something like um 
like the Ultima or the X-Gel over just to put the strength back in because these nails are designed to have the perfect structure and um, based on the length that they are so when you cut that down you can affect the structure which means that the nails can be more prone to snapping and things like that if there was a trauma and um, they're not just going to randomly snap but if there was a trauma applied to the nail it can mean that a little bit less force applies can result in, in a in a breakage um, this time, because Jennifer has her natural nail to support this full extension, I'm not concerned about it at all. It was literally just for this little corner here, but you can see how that has um, fixed that. Could you pop that down there? Yeah, sure. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now- so just to be clear, you're taking the shine off of the file, right? No. No, I, I was just reshaping it there. No, never take a shine off of the, a file. So, if I, I'll finish that. That's a good idea, Chris, I'll finish that. So what I'm gonna do now is to remove the shine, I am just gonna go in with a buffer, 180 or 240, and I'm just going to gently flick over the top. We don't want to go in with a nail file because again, a nail file can thin the tip out and alter the structure. Even if you do it very lightly, um, you can take a small amount um, of the structure away by thinning it out, and we don't wanna do that. Um, because that can result in more breakages okay so and one of the most satisfying things about a set of extensions is actually painting them yes so um you don't want to be ruining that by putting lines or dents in from a file so smoothing it off with the uh, smoothing the shine off with a buffer and then painting them is oh it's lovely and especially with some of our um gel polishes that go in with one coat oh it's just heaven so we have got the gel oh, the, sorry. Oh, builder gel here um, it's applied fine, a lot of people just let that go, but I am seeking perfection guys. So I'm going to give it a very, very light refining. So I'm going with a 240 nail file, um, very lightly, just to crisp up my edges right now. Um, Jess is just asking if there's any updates on Luby Glitz and Bear collection. Dare to be Bear Luby Glitz um, is in, uh, Dare to be Bear is hopefully oh. gonna be tomorrow or the next day. No, we've sorry, had a lot Jess. of problems. We've had a lot of problems guys. So right now I am refining very, very gently. Very gently. I'm not using any pressure at all. Um doesn't even feel like you're doing it tonight. No, yeah, I just you want to be very light because you don't want to file through the product. So very, very light with the nail file. And then you can go in with your buffer just to smooth everything over. Why don't you just do the buffer so you can, but if you, you know, sometimes if you want to sort of almost like shape in, shape, you want to kind of shape the nail, I do anyway, but some people would be happy with that. You can see that the application is perfectly smooth from the side. The thing is, Becca is actually happy with this. She's actually just doing it out of force of habit um, more than anything, because sometimes even when she's absolutely delighted with the nail, it's just still- It is kind of a force of habit, but a lot of people I know are like that. Yeah. And, um, it is something that I've seen a lot of people talking about. Um, it's just been and again, been the thing with Angel is if you don't want to refine it, it's still going to work fine. If you do want to refine it, it's still going to work fine. It's just such a nice, easy product to use. So if you didn't refine it, could you just go straight in with top coat? Or I mean, yeah, you could go coat. straight in with top, top coat, color coat, whatever you want. Yeah, absolutely. They are so, you can just leave them. They are so nice to just have um, Azure. Do you need to take the shape off? Yeah, so you want to, we, we, I would always recommend removing the inhibition layer. So this is our infilled nail, guys, remember? Um, I would always remember removing the inhibition layer. Remember. <laughs> recommend. <laughs> remember. Um, because, remember, your inhibition layer, I keep saying it, <laughs> bloody hell. Um, it's a little bit slippery. So I find that when you're painting on your gel polish, your, your finish might not be as um, perfect as if you had removed the inhibition layer. It kind of catches on your, not well, kind of, it does, it catches on your brush as well. So removing that just makes it a lot easier to um, to paint on the nail. So this now being an infill, I am being slightly more aggressive towards it just because it does require slightly more shaping um, than, the, <laughs> than the nails that have just been freshly laid. The other thing that you can use, actually, I'll use that on the next. <laughs> I know, but I chose the words there, Rebecca. Oh, I just liked it. The other thing that you can <laughs> use is an e file. Now, my preference for refining with an e file, do you know what? I still love refining with a nail file because I feel like you can just be really precise. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just really like it. 
Anyway, um, I actually really enjoy using a sanding band and particularly a mini sanding band oh, yes. when it comes to refining um, Builder Gel. So remember Builder Gel is a bit softer, it, well not a bit softer, it's a lot softer than products such as acrylic or even hard gel. Um, so you do want to be more gentle with it, which is why I think a sanding band is such a good product. I don't know what is going on with this finger. It's the thing about um, using your sanding band as well is sometimes when you've got your e-file, like we've kind of pushed the e-file to the side here to do this demo, so sometimes when your e-file is right there, you will, you will grab that, but today the, the nail files were sitting closer, so which is why you reached for that. Um, so I think it's just a choice. It of, is. I'm just going to show you guys right now. So I'm going to use my mini mandrel. Oh, I'll need to turn it on. Yep, I got one out. So I'm going to use my mini mandrel and um, 150 sanding band from Lucy Pastorelli. They're so cute. They're so cute. Love them. <laughs> it's what a weird thing to say about So cute. Meal. So. <sighs> oh, this is so cute, Chris. So I would just really love just very quickly going over. And the great thing about the mini one is that you can get really nice and close to the edges, I find. Yeah. It's just a little bit more precise. And again, you, you're not going over it. It's just the exact same pressure as what I felt with. It's actually almost less pressure than, than yeah. Yeah, like, you're probably using less pressure because it's the same. And the good thing is that sort of the marks that it leaves can help you see that everything's nice and smooth. Do you know what I mean? You're following the track. Exactly. Um, so I do really love the mini sanding band for um, infills, but in all honesty, nine times out of ten, I will actually use um, a manual file for. This thumb is really tickly today. Like, is I, it? I, I can't quite. Like, I want to like almost pull away from you. I'm like, oh. I'm just gonna give this a little sharpen up. The edges. Really tickles. I can't explain it. It's like round the side. <laughs> what a strange Now thing. I'm just going to quickly go Sorry. in for the rest of the nails. No, that's not just my thumb. That's a wee, wee tickly bit. And I'm just going to give it a real quick buff over. Just removes any lines that might be created with the nail file. Blends everything together because I didn't actually go over the full nail necessarily with the nail file on these fingers. Um, it was more just the sort of free edge area where I was just doing a little bit of blending. Oh, you alright? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I keep moving you away with my hair. Okay. I think you need like a headscarf for the other line. I know, you said this before. Maybe just take her hair down as a wee soft pony. <gasps> what about a wee French plate? I could do that for you before you get fine. It's the wee front bits. Another day I was thinking of going for you with a short bob. Short bob? What, Rebecca? Yeah. No, I'm not getting a short bob. You wouldn't let her get her hair cut short, would you? Okay guys, so should we use one of the new colours to paint these? Oh yes. Okay. As in, oh, sorry, but you're asking me or the guys that are watching this. Guys, what we use? No, not different? a prototype. Like uh, one of the new um, Ottomans. Nah, like rubbish. maybe. They're oh, they're rubbish, Chris, are they? Let's just go for Grige. See how that sells. Grige. But Grige oh, is next to. Echo. No, we're not having it. We're anything. having Rouge, I think. Yeah, we're we'll Rouge. Rouge. Please, Christopher. Oh, Fuego. Uh, we don't have a. Oh, Fuego. Oh. What do you want? Um, either of them are nice. Fuego or Rouge. You surprised me, Christopher. I don't think those are out on the shop yet. I think they're yeah, just... Are they? In the line. They're done, eh? Yeah, yeah. They are in the line. Oh, oh they're well done. That was free though. There's two flavors. Oh, somebody's about to put a free one. Sriracha. Oh, Sriracha. So, so that benefit Fuego is. Okay. And I must say that I actually need to so, Fuego is, I don't know how well, this is going to come, I'm just going to flip this, flip this over. This is what I love about these mani mats, guys, is you can just kind of flip them over, all your dust is then contained. Um, so, are we happy with that middle now? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Happy? Oh, we, oh you yeah. You don't want it? You want rouge instead? She does. She wants rouge instead. It's fine. Sorry. It's a red, Chris, funnily enough. It's a red colour. It's because it's... Okay, so uh, Fuego is a lovely sort of burnt orange colour. Not not very Jennifer. It's and especially if she I'm has going, to keep that. <laughs> God knows when I'm going to get this other hand off. So, so we're going to use Rouge, which is from our new Autumn Winds collection. We've really spoiled you guys with reds. Um, oh, it's look beautiful. At her. Really beautiful colour. Per a perfect dark red. This one. So. 
And actually, Jenna's still rocking Fuego. So oh, is the she? same as uh, Jenna. Is she? Yeah, no, she is. Time for you. Keep an eye on any uh, questions. Yeah, I'm just watching. Sorry, I was hypnotised with your the brush there. <laughs> yeah, it is a beautiful brush, isn't it? Um, Luby the librarian. What a name that is! I know. I love her. Um, she said great tip, but I have absolutely have no recollection to at what point. But thanks for that, Luby. Appreciate that. Luby the librarian. How cool is that? It's also. I feel like it should be. Sometimes she's just like, yeah, like an erotic fiction novel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really like that. Oh, Jennifer. Mm hmm. Sorry, Rebecca. Mm hmm. Oh, what's that you're using? I'll oh, clean over. Yeah, but it's red, and red always just stains the skin. Look at that. Bloody oh, hell, that Jennifer. Oh. She said bad words, that's right. Oh, I can't believe she just did that. Sorry, guys. Meanwhile, back in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Probably here. Is it more than one as well just now? No. It's a staff night out this weekend, which we're all nervous about because Rebecca gets wrecked very easily. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just Zach Bryan that's on. But we're going to a, we're going to a cowboy bar. We so are. Glad, we're going to Maggie May's Rockin' Rodeo, and we are excited about it. Yeah, get on that fucking bongo. Light. And some tater tots. Because we were excited about it. How many tater tots are a margarita? She really invite LP. She's part of the team now. She was invited. She heard you were coming as <laughs> Of course. I might not go, by the way. I'm just going to stay at home. You might not be invited if you move your hand again. This <laughs> <laughs> is called Billy. I would take it to HR, but she's painting my nails. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good one. That was a good one, Jennifer. I'm so surprised. What about Jennifer's funniness? She's just been really awful to me all day, guys. Like, really horrible. Well, yes, I'm, I'm doing your nails. How awful of me. Now, I, well, first of all, I'm doing, you're doing one hand. Yeah. So. Eventually the other hand will come. Yeah, after the work's night out. So guys, if you haven't yet tried our gel polish, I implore you to do so because the reviews have been wildly amazing. Um, what colours would you recommend? Oh, to start with... Grish or echo. No, right. Stop don't, saying don't, grish. Stop listening to him. Um, black, white, caliente, caliente. bear, lux. Um, Can you say arriba, arriba after caliente, please? Arriba, arriba. arriba. Uh, sorry, sorry. Glass <laughs> slipper. Stone glass slipper. Oh, glass slipper is a must. It's a really, really popular one. And it's one of the funniest ones because it's not. If you imagine the, the warehouse, all of the job polishes in alphabetical order except glass slipper. It's in the S's. There we go. So it makes it a fun for the warehouse staff to go and pick it for Especially you. Especially new ones. And it's a 30 second cure our gel polish, which is. Oh, people don't believe me. People don't believe it's us. On the camera. But um, show off the nice brush as well because I feel the brush. <laughs> Hannah. Oh. Hannah? Hang on, how many is she said? The brush for the gel pop. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's We've had so many compliments on the brush. It's just such a stunning paint uh, brush to paint with because it's just a really perfect shape for cuticles. A lot of the colours you can get away with one coat as well. I wouldn't say so with reds, but a lot of the colours, literally one coat is ample. Um, even the black and the white, I would say, one coat is perfect. Absolutely nobody asked, but I think I'll just answer the question in case somebody's thinking it. Okay. How is Chris able to <laughs> chase Rebecca around this table um, with a camera? Because we're using a lunar light, which is great for content. Not so good for Rebecca. Our lunar light product. is one of our best selling products. Surprisingly, yeah. Yeah. Not surprisingly. Not surprisingly, it's sir. But what I mean is, it's not what we're going for. But it's kind of like the, the moon drops, you know, things that you just get as, oh, let's just, a uh, wee side thing that, you know, nail text would. Really and really like. we got this because we wanted it for ourselves, mm -hmm. so then when we liked yeah, it, yeah, everybody exactly. was commenting We've had this for years and so yeah. many people commented on it. We decided to get it for all of you. Kind of like Ultima Gel. Oh. One thing you didn't think was going to get with every single order. Ultima yeah. Gel. And Multiple. surprisingly, XH and X Prep normally go 50-50 when they're going in orders. Uh-huh. 
No, this Black Friday is all X Prep. And X Prime. Mm. Yeah. X Prime, obviously. A lot of X Prime is going out because we recommend the use of X Prime with all of our products. So, so it's good. great just to have. Um, so Hannah says that the Works Night Out sounds amazing. Um, she also says Which Hannah? Hannah um, Phenomenal. Oh, we Hannah. Oh, yeah. lovely Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Um, You're more welcome, Tom. She likes, I was just about to say that. Um, she also loves Caliente. And then Luby, the librarian, I just want to say your name again, loves Luby, obviously, as our gel polish. What do you um, think of Luby Blitz, though? Uh, Luby Blitz is next little bit of, I mean, it's outgrown, guys, but she is beautiful. It is um, stunning. But the shine, even though she's been buffed and. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so Jennifer was doing the picking and packing for Black Friday, so. They have been 24 through. minutes apparently from plus. They have but been through the wars. Still look nice and shiny. Um, Luby Glitz, definitely, guys. Like, I had to have it on because, well, I just had to. Um, I know you can't see it, but see on this camera, that looks almost like Luby Glitz because of the sparkle coming through. Yeah, I think that's why that. Jennifer picked it though because they are they're quite similar. Coming from. Yeah, so I have almost similar hands. Um, okay, nails. The polishes are amazing. You just did the best job. Oh, thank you. It was all Rebecca. Nudie nails. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get bonus points. Yeah, okay, Christopher. <laughs> You'll be at home <laughs> with me. <laughs> the Lord um, Nudie nails is saying just use blank over red. Over red? I know, I'm just trying to make oh, it as in over oh. red for red bottom nails. And it looked, only took one coat. Ooh! Nice. For like a Louis Nail next. A Louis Vuitton. Okay, so it's full of Delente. Um, this colour is unreal. Hannah, you need to get this. Rouge, yes. <laughs> She's laughing because we said we, Hannah. Sorry, that's just what we call you. Okay, pop it in for me. 30 seconds. What do you know what it looks like? It looks like a lovely red wine. Uh, it's really stunning. Okay. Get you thirsty, Jennifer. Have more gifts. Yeah, the alcoholic Jennifer is thirsty. Oh, are we having more gifts? We'll have more gifts. Are they for us? Um, I'm going to guess that. Okay, cool. Right, so once we've done that, we're going to go in with our top coat. Yep, we're going to have more gifts. Which is also a 30 second cure. So, nice and fast. 30 seconds goes by so quickly. Out we go. Hopefully, I'm in frame since I'm on my own. Oh, look at that. She's a beauty. Good job, Thank you so much. Thank you. In case you're maybe new to the order, we actually have a little store where you can pop in, pick up your order if you're local, or you can browse some of our thingamabobs. Thingamabobs and hingamajigs. Or try some of the scents of the cute coils. Swatch Talk of which, all I can smell off of your nails, Jennifer, is the Fizzy Pastorelli scent. Oh, so nice. So good. Um, Claire, the lotions have not arrived yet. Um, you will be getting an email from us. The lotions um, were meant to be here last week, but um, two different courier companies are not taking a responsibility for for the shipment. So just let's, let's just say, Claire, we're, we're really mad. <laughs> um, also, what happens to the best of us. Sometimes DVD might lose your parcel, sometimes other companies might lose a whole pallet. Yeah, how you can lose a 248 kilogram pallet, I'm not entirely sure, but it's really it, I promise it is worth the wait. Promise. It's a great product. Oh, I can do the lotion on that. I know. Can you see that? For anybody who spikes. used to use, use our beauty buffer. Butter. B butter, sorry. Butter, um, you guys are going to absolutely love this. This is kind of like what you've been waiting for. It's kind of lighter. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. love so that. good. What's it good for? It's good for everything. Matt nails. Matt nails. So when you use our polish, Matt LeBlanc, um, he is <laughs> he um, instead of using like our cuticle oils, what you can do is use a lotion. 
um, around it which gives you more control for putting it on but also doesn't then put any oily residue onto your matte <gasps> top coat. Beautiful. <gasps> Look at that. Right, in your pop Jennifer. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, Hannah had one in her manifest goodie bag and I must say oh, the yes. are amazing. Oh yeah. Hannah, you're just like on top form today. Hannah's getting all over. No, Grace said anything and the scent is unbelievable. It's just it's stunning, isn't it? That and it really, really is. We love it. Isn't so guys, for anybody who's just joined, we have just completed um an application of our Ain Gel Builder Gel. Well, we've actually done three things in one. Combo nail. We did um, an application on fresh nails, we did an infill on one nail, and we did a uh, repair on this nail. So, a really great video to go back and watch if you haven't been watching from the beginning. And then we applied our new, one of our new autumn winter colors, Rouge, to it. Really, really stunning, stunning color. Look at that. It's really beautiful, isn't it? It's really, really nice. Really love it. Um, so yeah it's kind of like a, an old you color actually yeah it is like I a, love it. Yeah. and what's on your other hand Luby glitz which has been on for a few weeks um so yes just showing you guys <laughs> discard discard <laughs> look at the nice one showing you guys how to apply that successfully again it's a very very easy product to work with a very very easy product to apply the retention should be great there is no base coat required it is hemma free um, but again just applies like any other gel uh, builder gel that you have used before regardless of the fact that it's hammer free it's beautiful anything else you want to go over guys um, uh, um, see you yeah yes yeah, see you all at magazines and the countdown is on to our event guys so if you haven't yet bought your tickets go on and check um, there is something there for and everybody regardless of whether you use our products or not before it is going to be a great start to 2024 for your business with motivational talks and um, business tips and tricks networking etc so definitely go and search sunday service on our website um, to find out more information and thank you so much for watching we will do another live again soon um, and enjoy the rest of your day guys Bye. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to be notified when we next post our next video. Bye guys.